Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you see this. This is Dee with INF Probably Insights. <clears throat> I'm doing my summer second t time, summer, summer series of just doing what I think of, and they're kind of sarcastic and kind of what my life is like being holed up here in the heat, um, not doing the live streams as I promised earlier because my computer is um, sick. I'm giving it, I'm tending to it. And um, I had a bad haircut. So anyway, what we're talking about today is uh, INFP four wing five or like INFJs or are they not? If you're not a four wing five you can still watch it. I think it's interesting. But what got me to doing this now, I was going to wait until the fall and do a really long thing like I normally do with my insights. But I can't think that clearly because of the heat. And um, so, but I think it needs to be said. And just take it with um, these series is just take it with a grain of salt. I have heard... Um, seen videos in the past week I think videos from people who are not INFPs who say that we want to be INFJs now two things about that number one is I don't um, I don't think I, I never wanted to be an INFJ how many INFPs want to be INFJs raise your hand or take a count, hit the like button. <laughs> Raise your hand by hit the like button. This is why I like live streams, but I can't do them right now. Number two is um, this was said by several creators, which are fine, who are not INFPs. And I think if those of you who follow me or have for a while or seen quite a few of my videos, you know how I feel about people who are not INFPs talking about how in, what INFPs think and feel and do. This is why I started this channel. <laughs> <clears throat> and I don't name drop, but the ones who say that, talking about that, that we, we are alike or we want to be INFJs, really... Um, won't say who they are, but they, their type starts with an I, ends with a J, and may have a NF in the middle. <laughs> and I'll tell you, this is all in fun. It's all in fun, but the content's real. So, um, I don't know if, I don't think, I don't see how they, they can speak for us. But that's the INFP talking, and I'm, I'm an INFP, Enneagram 4 Wing 5. Don't know much about the Enneagram, and I've been watching videos about that to learn. Didn't know much about the MBTI until I started this channel, even though I've been in mental health for 20 years. It's a society. I can diagnose you. I do diagnosis kind of well, because that's what I was into. Um, but, uh, yeah, the MBTI, I cannot look at somebody and tell what kind of type they are. But I can diagnose you. So, uh, maybe that's my resistance. But that's my four wing five resistance and independence, my bohemian side. But anyway, I watched one video by a guy who does the Enneagram. I don't think he's trained in it. I think he might be a minister or something. I can't figure out who he is. Um, but he's interesting to listen to. He has a calm voice, so he's interesting to listen to. And um, so you know how YouTube does or how YouTube does me is if you watch one video of a topic and a person, then the next thing you know, everything is recommended by that person. I didn't want to watch everything by that person. I know how to subscribe to the channel if I do. I, but, I, so that's how I got into the Enneagram study. <coughs> My summer school. So what he was saying was that he didn't do the um, MBTI, I'm throwing that in there. 
but he was saying the four wing five when they are under stress this is interesting and I don't know if it's true or not this is what he said and you can give your comments below what you think he said that four wing fives when they get under stress or maybe it was just fours I can't remember I watched so many by him uh, let's just say fours when any of let's just say fours I'll be flexible in this video when fours get under stress they turn into twos that's interesting I'm going to repeat that when fours get under stress they turn into twos when they know they've gone too far not just general stress when they know they when they get under stress because they know they've gone too far with someone else they turn into twos that's interesting to me and that would be more like an INFJ so that's how I'm tying all this in I'm taking my randomness any <laughs> I'm taking my any function right now we're going all over the universe with this <laughs> And I have a video about that, about why, this is summertime, so everything's a rerun. I have a video about that, about how INFPs and INFJs are similar but different. And number two, I have a video out there about, um, how, you can look at the older INFP insights to find them. That I, I have a video out there about... Um, why INFPs come back after they break up from relationships, friendships, whatever ships, why they come back. This fits right into it because a two, and I'm learning a little bit about Enneagram. I learn a little bit about two, I learn a little bit about four, if that's about all I know. But the twos want to be useful and helpful to other people. They want to do that outward. So I see that more as being an FE function. That's how I'm getting, I'm doing alphabet soup. I'm, I'm learning and growing here. Maybe totally off base, but it's, it's my, my thought. Hang in there with me. I think a twos is more like an FE function. They want to harmonize with the world by being useful and helpful to the world. It's an outward thing as opposed to fours and the INFP fours being very inward, INFPs are inward anyway with the FI. So that does happen, it holds true, and it's what I do. It's like what he was saying, the fours may be independent, they say something to someone, they tell the truth to someone that they don't want to hear. That's what I do. I call people out. And I may do one, um, I'm digressing, but uh, Dr. Romani did something recently called truth seers um, that's what we are so um, we tell the truth we spill it out uh, we don't mean to hurt people but we tell our feelings uh, we when we do tell that's what we tell um, and I know in my case and yes it's all about me uh, is INFPs if you're not an INFP or you haven't been around here long you know the INFPs explain the present and their experiences from past experiences, things they've learned from the past. So we live in the past to that extent. So my past experiences, what I do and what I'm working on is I get frustrated with people and I will tell them what I don't like about them. I don't call them names. I don't go down that low. I don't do all that uh, anymore. But um, I've outgrown that. But I will tell them that. And then you can see with the hope of bonding better maybe not the hope of destroying anybody or hurting anybody um, that's where um, also too INFPs can be like INFJs because we do know how to use our logic and sometimes when we get under a lot of stress we flip into that logic we get into the TI more so we hurt somebody let's say we hurt somebody's feelings or it didn't go like we planned then what we'll do is we'll try to make amends. We feel guilty about it. We feel bad about it. Fours, and he was just saying fours, but I'm going to go the INFP4, particularly the INFP4 wing five. 
and he may have been using the four wing five I'm not totally sure um, but we feel guilty about it and then we want to go make amends and to us we're making amends and a lot of people who are hearing it just get really ticked off at us <laughs> quite frankly so that's my spiel my take of uh, no I don't think INFPs want to be INFJs I think another way that we are like INFJs not that, that we, we want to be we want to be us um, so if you're listening we want to be us and not somebody else but how we are like INFJs I think going by the Enneagram and I use four wing five so maybe he did say four wing five when we are under stress we turn into twos and twos I think from what I understand which is very limited is a lot like the FE of the INFJ. So that's how all that ties in together. Let me know what you think. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I'll do a few of these for August. Then hopefully we'll get back on track when my computer feels better and it's not so hot and I can think. So until next time, stay safe.